you feel something's there and it's yeah, healing maybe, but it's yeah. not, you said that it's a lot less painful after oh, we did this. there's no pain to it at all. Because I remember you were a little bit scared about it. Remember yeah. what we did? I'm going to lean something cold against your back, okay? okay. Just because it's the tray and I don't want it to fall. You're going to be my little stand. So I'm going to pull off a little bit of this. Maybe we'll pull off more of it than we need. Do you think, I think your husband can do this too, huh? He's yeah. pretty good at this yeah, stuff. Yeah, no, he's pretty do you, good. Does he know what we do where we take out a little bit of it and snip it, like about an inch or so of this, um, here, I'll show it to you, okay? Because it's still draining a little bit mm -hmm. there, but it looks way, way better, and I think it's going to flatten really well. Look, I think we can kind of see where the pore was now, now that it's gone down. You want to see? Yeah. Is her, her son is here. See that little opening? That might yeah. have been the opening way over there, actually. Because we didn't see that before, it was so swollen. So mm -hmm. what we did, if you want to, because you were with her, usually you often see her, right? Okay. Yeah, she's been helping me. Okay, good. What we just did is we pulled out a little of this, okay? And then okay. we kind of snipped it like about an inch or inch and a half. Okay. And you can kind of do that every day when you change it, because it's like, it's allowing it to heal from the, actually you can wait two days even. Every okay. two days you can pull out a little bit. We're trying to let it, what it's doing is it's trying to keep that space. There's okay. a space in there. We're trying to stuff it with something so that it heals slowly from the inside and it from the edges and it doesn't like collect fluid. Okay. okay. So that helps so every now every couple of days you kinda of pull a little bit of it. And then one time you pull it and then the whole thing will pop out and you'll okay. realize that's it. That's that bottom okay. of it. Okay. But you can if it still drains by beyond that, that's fine. It's just made it a little smaller at least so it won't like collect in there. Okay. But it looks so much better in terms of being yeah, from red. Yeah, you would see it still drains. See I think that looked like even a little bit of cyst contents coming out of that. So it's still wanting see look at this side here. See that? It's a little cyst particle still in there. I'm just calling that iridescent today. Is that okay when I push on you a little bit? Yeah, no, it's okay. Because I think there's still some fluid in it's there that out wants easy, to come. Huh? Yeah, it's still there's still some stuff draining in there, but it'll come out. That's what we're just trying to help it, encourage it to do that. It's kind of a pain with these. That's why, I've, you know, people say, you know, a lot of doctors reassure, and I did too. You know, don't remove this because it's nothing harmful. Mm -hmm. You don't have to remove it, but the problem is when it gets inflamed like this. Yeah, that's a big pain in the butt. This has probably been affecting your life a lot. Yeah. You're thinking about me a lot. Or thinking about your back a lot. So I'm going to put another little dressing over that. And I'm going to set you free from me a little because I think you could do this a yes. lot on your own. But maybe we can make another appointment for you next week because I know it's affecting your, you know, your mm -hmm. job and your life here. So we don't want to do that too much. And then we'll check on you again just to make sure it's getting better. But okay. any time along the way. Now I can oh. just pull out another inch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Another Leave inch. It hanging out about like Leave it that. hanging out a little bit like that because sometimes when they're dressing it, it'll stick to it. And sometimes even when you change the gauze, be careful pulling it back because it'll stick to it and you pull the whole thing out. Oh, okay. It's not the end of the world if you do yeah. that though. Okay, so don't feel like, oh my God, what am I going to do now? You know, you'll be okay. Stick another one in. Yeah. No, honey, no. don't stick another one in. <laughs> don't stick it back in. Right? Okay. So when we get to the end of it, we just let it go. Mm -hmm. It might still drain a little bit. Yeah, it might still drain a little bit. We'll check you in a week to make sure okay. you're doing okay. All right, and then after that, we'll set you free. How's that? Okay. All right, one more visit. Um, it, it's definitely like way flatter well before that we started yeah. like a noticeable bump there. And then how about this pulling this out? Do we just pulling out a little bit? We've been pulling out a little bit every two days. No, we, I think we so need I don't some. know if we... Yeah. All right, so everybody gets their turn of pulling this out, and it's draining a little bit still, but it's, it's clear liquid, and we're just trying to encourage that. Mm -hmm. It's okay? It's not hurting yeah. too bad, right? No. Okay. Yeah, I think there's still some more in there, so they're praying pretty good about. So it might come out any, you will have to have a lottery and see which time it's going to pull out the whole right. thing. It's like that kind of thing. So I'm going to leave a little bit more of that in there. And keep doing that, and I think... I'm gonna set you free for a little while. I would love awesome. to see you more like close to the end. Like, I mean, afterward, it's mm -hmm. really kind of completely healed because that'd be a good picture afterwards. Did you see your video already? It was yeah, on... last night she showed yeah. me. Yeah, it's not on the actual YouTube yet. It's yeah, just on no, our website. Yeah. See all these little particles? Still have cyst particles kind of coming out. It's okay when I push? It's a little tender when you push. Yeah. Okay, I'll stop doing that then. But we'll take, we'll go ahead and keep doing that. And I'm gonna say we'll see you like in a month. Okay. That's okay. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you. It's not hurting you at all, no, huh? No, no. I mean, you know, part of it is it gets firm because it's still healing. You know, it's firm here, but it's slightly more raised here. 
there might be part of it that's wanting to grow back, you know? Um, <clears throat> so this is where we made that little initial decision. This is where we made another one to try to drain it. So <coughs> what I would say actually at this point is keep waiting right now because we need it to kind of heal more. See, there it is. It's draining a little bit. It's from up here. I mean, maybe mm -hmm. it will. Maybe it is all liquid and it's going to go away. I guess I can, I can put a little. I'm gonna put a little numbing and try to see if we can squeeze a little more of that out. Is that okay? No, well, that's fine. Okay, let me actually get that. It's soft skin. It's not quite healed. If it's, right. It's just a very thin layer. It's very firm. It's not what we yeah. call fluctuant. Fluctuant. So it's not like it feels boggy. But so what we decide as dermatologists is or when to squeeze it is. This cute little, well, this cute little couple, first of all, this cute woman here. We have this bump here that got better. We have the footage from the, from the last one, and we kind of let it heal. And you said it was a little concave. That red part was a little concave, and this was like the little opening. There was something still there. And yes. uh, a few days ago, you were squeezing it. It wasn't red, but it was a little concave and flat, and then you felt a little... That side that I was pick. pushing on was like the half grain of okay. a pinto bean. Oh, okay, a pinto bean. Okay. <laughs> and then, but you squeeze this right here and it made a little click kind of sound. Yes, it clicked. And then that's what happened. A cyst, the cyst, there's a little something there. It broke down and now her body is like, it's not like it's infected. It's that it's inflamed and mad, but it hurts. It gets swollen. It's like a pimple that you squeeze and you don't fully get out and it gets mad at you. So, I'm so, I love how you love your husband because you're not mad at him. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, so what you need to do, so just so you guys know, and so people, people know in general, is that when you have a cyst that is inflamed like this, you can't excise it at this point. The best time to excise it is when it's calm like that. But I'm going to give you, take that joy away for you. I feel a little bad because now you're not going to have anything to squeeze on. You're going to start picking on other Find things. Else. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so um, what I would do today is I'll probably give you an antibiotic. Um, I don't think there's much there right now. It feels like it's still hard. It's a lot in there. And it's in there, but don't squeeze it, okay? That, that, don't squeeze it. I know you are such hi. a puffaholic. You <laughs> are. It's saying hi to you. You you can't squeeze it because if you do, you're just it. gonna make it angrier. I mean it. I didn't do it last night. Oh, okay. I didn't let him. I said, no, leave it alone. I want her to see how it looks. I don't think there's going to be much to... Does I, it make you mad when I squeeze it? If I squeeze it here, like, you want to get in or are you okay? You like to watch That's it. That's okay. I don't mind watching. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I don't know if there's very much to do. We can at least get that little top there. I just don't want to make it worse, but I want it to get better so that we can excise it. If that so is that, soft skin. It's not quite healed. If it's, right. it's just a very thin layer. It's very firm. It's not what we yeah. call fluctuant. Fluctuant. So it's not like it feels boggy. But so what we decide as dermatologists is or when to squeeze it is when it feels softer because it's liquidy. Right now, I think it's still in that swollen process. Yeah, because I, it's red. Yeah, so I don't know. I think I think that when I nick it, I, I, that you're only going to get something from this top here. I don't think it's all liquid. I don't think it's all liquid. I could be wrong. I'm, I'm going to, so we'll find out. But of course, you're the most important. And you're comfortable. Right. You know, I'm not like, we're not talking to you like you're like, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I was like, but, you have to come because you know and see. I can't yeah, see anything back there. Yeah. Okay. So what do you think? You don't think so. You think it's all liquid. Well, I think it's sensitive because it's... I think it's sensitive because what happens is the it's... swelling puts pressure. Yeah. And it's under tension. But so sometimes I you release think that. there's like half the... You okay? Yeah, no, I didn't feel it. Okay. I feel like he... Uh, I know, and I'm so Do you enjoy this more know. than when your wife had a baby? <laughs> feel... Um, yeah. <laughs> You, you know what? The, the you might be right. There is part. There is stuff in here. Look. Oh yeah. You know he, he's proving me wrong. We had a little bet here. That's okay. That's just numbing. I'll say that's numbing. I'm just gonna stay there, right where we are. It's because there's so much pressure and pain here that it relieves it, but it's also it hurts because it already hurts. So mm -hmm. to put some numbing there, it hurts more. You know, it's like you're pushing on it, but yeah. you're trying to make it ultimately numb. Obviously, that's the whole goal here. I should put some ice cubes on How long ago did you squeeze this? Uh, two okay. days ago. 
but then, I didn't squeeze that. Yeah, you squeezed over here, yes. and then that's what happened here. Uh -huh. You heard a little pop. What was the noise you made? A little you, pop. You said it. Like you a said, snap. You made a you made a really good noise, so I didn't. I can't remember. Like there that. you go. <laughs> How do you do that? <laughs> And I felt it with my fingers, and I was like, oh, I think I busted the sack. Were you happy or sad about that? Uh, no, I didn't like that. Okay, good. Because that's not, uh, that you wasn't still, the goal. You were trying to get it, because you were trying that, to get it come out, not go under. That section you're working on was all healed already. Yeah, but there's something under here. Yeah. It wasn't fully healed. It would have come up if you I think it poured down. Pinch. Because my squeeze was coming from uh, that area yeah. towards up. This area here. Yeah. See, there's still cysts. You see that? That's cyst. Pieces of cyst. It was probably trying to come back, make a little, um, make a little um, revival. It's like um, part two of the Wolverine or something. And then come back. Mm -hmm. Actually, I just watched that Logan. Dude, that was a sick movie, right? Yeah, oh. and I was thinking the next, you, you watched it too? Yeah, yeah. I just saw it. Oh, I'm glad I have this flash mask on. Almost caught me. You're right. You're right, there's fluid in there. See, I know when to say Are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. It's just like deja vu, it's right now. At least it's not as big a deja vu. I don't know if you remember how big that was. I, I remember. The picture, it was like Yeah, I was this. in here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah the it day that it time. happened, I was like, you need to call the doctor and just take care of this. Do you need anything? Um, I don't think so right now. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay right now. I'm trying to just make sure she's comfortable and trying to need... I can feel that it's the bottom of it, though. It's just flat, wider. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Is it hurting? No. Oh, that's good. If you tell me if any of it hurts, because I can always add more numbing. I love how doting he is. This is nerves. Yeah. I love how doting he is, but you did this to him. Her. <laughs> I was going to get a scalpel and pull it No, out. you weren't. How would you really... You're saying that. I know you're all talk. <laughs> because there's no way you can do that and not have it be painful. I know, right? No way. I would never let my husband ever do that. You might that. need to get some Bolivian flake on there. <laughs> what, is what is Bolivian flake? I want to know. What, is that your name for like a... Um, something? No, no. <laughs> Bolivian flake. That must be, I'm going to have to go Urban Dictionary that. <laughs> I taught my husband yesterday what a thought was. Oh. Now he's that. probably going to use it. T-H-O-T. Uh T-H-O-T. -huh. -T. Okay, I'm going to, you teach me what a Bolivian flake is and I'll teach you what a thought is. When the guy, it's an acronym for that hole over there. Oh. <laughs> That's right, right? Yeah. <laughs> now your hub, hubby better not start using that. So actually look, it looks much flatter and it's, it's if you oh, touched yeah. it right here, you can touch it right here, you can feel it's more firm. You see that? Not liquidy? Yes. Much, right? See this right here? Yeah. This is the main is. area. Yeah. And I believe I popped it and it's been pouring in. I don't know though. It. Yeah, maybe. Or yeah, maybe there's a space there. But maybe also that's involved. So I think when we come back, we go like here, but I would still, there's a potential we to extend it here. So we'll schedule you for that, but we got to let this calm down a little bit. Okay. It's a lot better. It looks a lot oh, better. Oh, yeah. But that's what happened the last time. We had to do it a few times. Last time it looked like a Cadbury, and today it doesn't look like oh. a Cadbury. A Cadbury cream egg? Oh, yes, that's right. It was a Cadbury cream egg. He is the cutest. His face, I wish I had a video of his face when I told him we were going to, you know. Oh, his face was so, it's like joy. What is that? What is uh, that? Numbing. numbing. Oh, okay. You feel it? To the yeah. Blade. Okay. Do now you won't. Okay. It's going away. Where did I do the blade? I had a blade. <laughs> did I throw it away? Did you, did you get to put a blade in your oh, hand? Oh, Lord. In the wallet. <laughs> what the heck? I'm going to open this one, but let's Maybe you that. did throw it away? I don't know. Maybe it got caught in my gauze. Don't care about it. We'll look at it. Don't. We'll look for it. It just maybe it's stuck on that gauze right there. I'm just gonna do a double check. Oh here. yeah, maybe so. I have floor blades. It's okay. Floor blades. Oh, God. <laughs> oh here it is. 
I found it. It's not inside of you. We're not have to wait and find it later. <laughs> I'm just pushing against all sides to kind of squeeze some of it out here on the side just to make sure it's needed because this is not a very big hole and I don't probably, that's why we kind of try to leave something open so that it, you know, heals up. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I'm trying to say? I'm not making very much sense, but I'm going to try to open that a little bit more just, just to make sure. Do you feel anything? It healed really well. It did, it did. Right? You can't even see it. Looks really good. Okay, now hubby. I mean it looks like it looks like we squeezed pretty much, you know, there's a little bit right here. But it doesn't hurt her, which is good. Because I didn't really numb this whole area, so the fact that it doesn't hurt her, that's a good thing. But we want that to you know, I want to have this calm down. I want to give her an antibiotic by mouth, and then we'll check her again. You know, it is Friday. It is almost Friday. Mm -hmm. So if you feel like this worsens or anything, I don't think it's going to. But just let us know, okay? Or, or, or next week or something mm -hmm. like that, too. But uh, if we, so if we need to drain more, we can, or maybe open it up wider. I'm thinking about opening it wider, but I don't want to do that to you unnecessarily. It did well the last time if, you, if, if your hubby hadn't put his hands on it. It was happily coexisting so with you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> He's so cute. I'm a very close man. We just celebrated 27 years. Really? You know, you know, come talk to me. I can arrange a very nice birthday or anniversary gift for him for you. <laughs> Get him something nice to squeeze. Yeah. Oh yeah, you probably like our pimple popping cupcakes. You yeah, should get that. You know we have cupcakes that you pop the pimple on it? No. Oh, no. he would love that for yeah. it. Oh my gosh, for him to actually squeeze them. I'll just bite it. Well, yeah, you eat it, but you got to squeeze it too. All over my face. No face mask. You're like, let's get in bed and just lie here naked with the cupcakes. So cute. You're so cute. Isn't it weird how we all are just totally okay and in other moments you wouldn't be talking like this? <laughs> okay. I feel pretty good about that. But what I want to say... the top part, though? I mean, I think there's firmness right there, but we have to, we're not finished. We want to, what I, we want to do is excise that sack completely because there's a sack under there. Yeah. So you got to take it out, but I want to make sure it's calm down at like the that's less pressure. That's the pore There's for nothing, it. there's nothing there. Do you think? Feel it. Yeah. That's it. pretty right? hard, right? That's, that's what you think we there's had fluid before there? all the way. No. Yeah. There is, there is something, something in there. here. Yes. But it, I don't think we should push on <laughs> it. Yes. Yeah. Good. I'm glad you're saying that. Keep thinking that way. I'm going to give you that clip where you say that, and then she can play it back to you. <laughs>